If, like me, you find yourself having to vacuum almost daily to clean up after family, pets, and kids, then you are going to love this review because today I'm introducing you to my new best friend. It's the Eufy RoboVac 15C Max from Anchor. And yes, that's right, it's a robot that does the vacuuming for you so you don't have to. So because we have a chocolate Labrador called Daisy, who um, sheds hair like you would not believe, not to mention the mud that's dragged in and the dust that's created from having a family of four, you know, crumbs everywhere, the lot. I basically had to vacuum every day uh, to keep my home in some kind of order. And it's a lot of work. I did a review in the past on my Mealy cat and dog vacuum cleaner, um, which is great. If you've got pets, this thing really gets rid of the pet hair. And I'll link to it in the description below so you can take a look. Basically, having to get the vacuum cleaner out every day is just a complete pain in the neck. And so I'm always looking for interesting things to review anyway. And I'm also trying to find game changers. You know, those devices that are genuinely, genuinely worth the money and it'll make a real difference to our daily lives. That's why um, I decided to take a look at robot vacuum cleaners. And I was actually really surprised to see that there were a few available on the market that are kind of falling into that affordable bracket. And the one I went for was the Eufy RoboVac for £269. It's already racked up about 1,800 ratings on Amazon and the average star count is 4.5. So that gave me a bit of confidence. It's the 15C Max and um, it was described on the product description as being super thin um, and it's just 2.85 inches in height. So it is a really thin model. That's ideal for sort of getting under furniture and into places that you can't always go with a regular vacuum cleaner. And it's also much quieter than standard vacuums. And having used it, I would say it is just slightly louder than maybe the average microwave. So that's a big difference from your everyday vacuums. It works on hard floors and then anything up to medium pile carpets. So if you've got those kind of heavier, dense piled carpets, this isn't gonna work so well for you. So let's first of all start by taking a look at me unboxing the Eufy so you can see how it comes, what it comes with, and how you set it up. So here is the newly arrived Eufy. On the front, it says it works with Wi-Fi. Uh, 2000 PA super strong suction power with intelligent boost IQ TM technology. I don't know what any of that means either. Just for the avoidance of doubt, this model is the T2128. Let's go ahead and look, open it up. Mm. Oh, I can see batteries included already. Here we go. So welcome to hands-free cleaning. There's a quick start guide here. That's handy. An owner's manual, warranty information and customer service information all included in this little pack. And here is the Eufy itself. Here it is next to me. Just open it up. Smart look at exterior. It reminds me of like a giant CD player or something. Within the box as well, I can see that there is a remote control. Again, I'll come back on that once I've figured out what all the, the different bits and pieces are on there. You've got a plug as you would expect. And this looks like it will be a charging port. And I'm guessing this is where we charge it up. Also within the box, uh, this is a filter, which it looks like you can wash because it says air dry the filter after washing on it. So the first thing I've learned using the quick start instructions is that I've got to download an app, which is the Eufy Home app, and I am downloading it right now. It's just charging at the moment, and that's why the light is orange. When it's fully charged, it'll turn blue. And what I should have said before any of this happened was you have to switch the power switch on on the bottom oh god oh 
What do you do? Oh. Oh god, I think I can call it back to its station. Yeah, there we go. What just happened was I have downloaded the app and I had a little bit of a faff connecting it. So basically it's taken a full two hours to charge and you need to wait for it to charge before you can set it up on your app. We also realize it doesn't work on the 5G network, it needs 2.4. This is my, I've called it RoboGoGo. And um, I just hit that little arrow by mistake and that has set it off. Just going into the device setting there, uh, here you can see your RoboVax status and battery level, okay. Um, tap, play, pause and press directional buttons to manually control its cleaning path, okay. Tap here to set your cleaning mode, right. Tap here to switch between auto quick clean spot and edge cleaning modes. Quick clean is a half hour, um, half hour clean. Spot is just a couple of minutes if you maybe dropped something, I don't know, a plant pot and you had some mud or something you wanted it to clean up. Um, it would do that for two minutes on the spot and edge cleaning um, will set it around your edges, only cleaning the edges. And there's an auto clean, which is probably the mode I will have it on most, in which it just makes its way around the floor and you can set a timer for it. So there's so much to talk about when it comes to the Eufy because it has so many different functions, but I don't want that to put you off because it, that, that makes it sound more complicated than it actually is. At its most simple, you could actually just charge the Eufy up on its base, switch it on, and let it go, you know, and you wouldn't have to bother about anything else. You saw me downloading the app on the footage there, and you can use it if you wanted to schedule um, the RoboVac to come on at different points in the day or at a certain time in the day, say you were out at work. That seems a long way off in the UK, I've got to say. So um, I'm just happy to basically switch it on, plonk it into a room or the area that I want it to cover, switch it on and let it go. It is also supposed to have voice control through the Amazon Alexa. Now we have an Alexa, so um, I downloaded the Alexa app and I was able to sync the Alexa with the RoboVac, but no matter what we tried, uh, how many different ways we asked, we could not get the Alexa to switch on the RoboVac. I'm not saying that it doesn't work, I'm saying that it didn't work for us. Uh, voice command for the RoboVac, to me, um, isn't something that I would use anyway, because it is much easier to um, either just switch it on and let it run in the area that you intend it to cover, or use the remote control that comes with it. So it's important to know that it doesn't map the room. There is no methodology to the way the Eufy covers an area. It basically has sensors and so that avoids it crashing in to objects or skirting boards or whatever. So it detects them and it sort of changes course. So that means it's very gentle around the home. There's no markings or anything like that, but um, it's sometimes painful to watch it at work because if you're looking for it to just, you know, go over a rug in straight lines, um, that's not how it works. You kind of have to let it work and find its way around over a period of time by basically kind of bouncing off bits of furniture, and, you know, moving in one direction, sensing something, heading off in the other direction, and somehow over time, it manages to cover the room more or less. Because it's so flat, it does go over, I mean, if you've got a lot of Ikea uh, furniture or Ikea, then you will love this because it goes under a lot of their cabinets and beds and, and we have quite a bit of um, Ikea furniture in our home. So in the first week, you'll probably find that it captures quite a lot of dust because it's going to areas that haven't been covered in a while. You can also use the remote control, which I find really handy. So using the control, you can switch on, you can direct it, so really handy if, you know, for instance, the rug I talked about, if you don't have time, if you've got somebody coming over and you just want it to do a specific area, then you can either use this 
for it to zap around the area quickly. You can use a spin function which basically means it sort of starts at a central point where you could put it if, if there was um, if you drop something or there was dust in a particular area and it will just circle round and round it um, for a couple of minutes. So that's really handy as well. You can boost the power on it, get it to just work around edges, which is a nice thing to do, particularly in an open room like a kitchen for it just to go round the cabinets, picking up bits of crumbs and dust and so on. Or you can put it on a short 30 minute cycle and by hitting the little cord mark there you can call it back to its base as well so i mean i find this really handy for the first few days of using the ufi i was absolutely obsessed that even though it was kind of careering around and not going in a kind of strategic pattern it was vacuuming my home and I wasn't. So I was sitting working and this thing was vacuuming our living room, vacuuming our hallway downstairs. You know, I've got two teenagers. I could just open the door to the room and put the Ufi in and it was quiet enough that they could continue gaming or whatever and nobody got disturbed. The model that I got has something called 2000 PA of suction. Well, what's that? Well, apparently it stands for Pascal pressure unit. So 2000 PA um, is an advance on some of the older models, which are about 1500 PA. It gives you enough suction power to lift dust and crumbs and pretty much everything from the carpet easily. What it doesn't always do is pull up maybe feathers or shorter hairs that have got trapped in carpet pile. So for that reason, and the fact that it's not able to get everywhere, depending on the shape of light stands and so on, it can't get around every element of your room unless you kind of move things before it goes in. For that reason, you probably would need to use a standard vacuum cleaner. I, I reckon I will use mine at least, you know, once every two, three weeks. But in general, I can just leave it to run and um, it has left my home cleaner than I started out, I would say. On the standard suction mode, it runs for about 100 minutes, but it has something called Boost IQ technology built into it. And that means that it will automatically increase its suction on a medium pile carpet. So we have a mix of hardwood and carpet, which lowers because it's using more power, the amount of time that will run. So if it's if it's running on that mode on carpets, you'd get about 40 minutes per vacuuming session out of it. Theoretically, it will return itself to its base once it starts running out of power. Now you need to have the base in an area clear of heavier objects surrounding it, which we don't actually, we've got it in our hallway. And at the moment, there's a great big box sitting next to it that needs to be moved. And that can sometimes block its route back. So if it's very nearby, it will just go back to its base. But if it's slightly further off in my son's bedroom at the back of the house or something like that, and it runs out of power, it, it doesn't find the base. So, I mean, that's something to be aware of. The way I'm using it is I'm putting it into a room for 10 minutes at a time or five minutes if it's a small room and then I'm stopping it and I'm picking it up and I'm putting it somewhere else and I'll probably go and get it before it runs out of charge and put it back on the base. If it's upstairs, it's not getting down the stairs. It's not that smart. So talking of stairs, the smart technology and the sensors within the RoboVac can detect a drop. So there's so often you're like, oh, it's going over, but it never does. Um, so that's really handy. It means you can just leave it to run in peace. If you've got windowsills or um, floor separators, like for instance, we've got a bit of a wooden floor separator between our hallway and our kitchen and it struggles. It gets stuck on that every time. So that's a bit of a pain in the neck. So it needs to be watched and it's therefore not very effective for the kitchen. What I tend to do is sweep the kitchen floor uh, get a little pile of dust in the middle and the, put the UV on to scoop up the dust for me and then I leave it to roam. So what I tend to do is put it on first thing in the morning, let it do a few rooms, recharge, 
and then do the rest of the house later in the day. And that works really well. After each run, you have to empty the box. Let me show you. Here's the little compartment and you just pull the box out and um, you open it up you'll find a little pile, a very satisfying, I must say, pile of dust in there. And you tip that out into the bin and it has a filter inside that box. You pull the filter out and at the end of each day, you give a bit of, bit of a rinse to clean it off. Um, it actually comes with two filters. So what you can do is leave the one you've just rinsed to dry and alternate it, you know, exchange it for the one that you washed and dried the day before, put that back in and it's clean and ready to go. So to me, it has been a bit of a revelation around our home. It's not perfect, as you can tell. You know, it sort of careers around and roughly works its way around a room. It gets stuck on uh, windowsills sometimes if you've got little window edges on the floor. You also need to be really careful about leaving wires hanging around. So cables and so on need to be tidied away before you put the robo back in the room for obvious reasons. Now, it has sometimes got caught up in, in cables in our rooms and it's no big disaster. It doesn't chew them up or anything like that. It just tends to kind of get caught and, and tangled in it. But I find it's best if you have a little bit of an ear on the RoboVac. So you're not doing the work, it's saving you loads of time, but I don't think I would switch it on if I was out at work because it's bound to get stuck or caught up in something. Such is my love for the, the Eufy, that's what we call it, it's a bit like a pet in our home, sorry Daisy, that I would be just so excited to see what the next generation of robot vacuum cleaners is going to do and cleaning devices generally. I mean, there is so much to come and it makes such a difference to your life just to be able to get on with something else. The house is just generally so much cleaner because it's getting vacuumed every single day and I've got time to do kind of other stuff as well. Would I buy it again? Well, I already have. I have um, bought a similar model for my mum's birthday which I'm gonna to give to her in a couple of days. And I'm really excited about that. She is in her late seventies and this is just absolutely ideal. And what it will mean for her is that most days, four weeks, she will not have to get a vacuum cleaner out herself. And that's just gonna make the biggest difference to her. So I'm really excited about that. It's not perfect, but it is a game changer. It's given me so much time back and it's fun. Your family will enjoy it. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell because then you'll get a little alert every time I publish a new review or video. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.